In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a custom domain to your Google Sites website. Now, this custom domain is going to be a domain that you own on a domain registration company. So I own my domain on Namecheap. You may own a domain on GoDaddy, Hostinger, Google Domains, Squarespace, any other domain registration company. The process of connecting the domain is exactly the same, and but it just might be a different interface. But nonetheless, what you want to do is go to Google Sites, go to the website you want to connect a custom domain to, then go to Settings and the top right hand corner and then go to custom domains from here you want to then click start setup and then find the domain you want to connect for me i'm going to go ahead and connect a domain in namecheap so i'm on my namecheap dashboard i can then scroll down and find the domain so for me i'll just connect this example domain woodprofitsyt.online so i'm going to go ahead and paste in the domain here and it should then give me an error message and say this domain is not verified this is exactly what we need now we need to click on verify your ownership and it's going to redirect you to this window just make sure you your domain's correct here, then click continue. Once you've done that, it's then going to give you some instructions where we need to verify that we own that domain. So we need to add a TXT record to this domain. Now, this is going to be where it changes depending on if you're with GoDaddy, Hostinger, Namecheap. What we need to do is go to the back end of your domain. So find your domain, no matter what registration company you're using, then go to manage, or maybe you have like DNS settings. Inside of GoDaddy, I think DNS is just a normal window. Inside of Namecheap, though, you have to go to advanced. DNS and here you see all of these DNS records perhaps you don't have any um, I have some already which I'm just going to quickly delete now you want to go to the page where you can add DNS records and add new records again this is going to look different depending on what registration company you use what I'm going to do now is follow the instructions so we need to add a txt record and we need to copy this value here so go ahead and copy this and then you want to add a txt record so go add new record and we're choosing a txt record so make sure in the drop down menu you choose txt then for the host type in add and for the value, paste in this that you've just copied from Google, then click save changes and just add that record. Okay, so now we've got that record added. We can now go back to this window and click verify and it should then verify that we've added that to the domain. If it doesn't, just click OK and then try again. It should verify eventually. Okay, so there you go. After like four tries of me clicking that button, it's now verified ownership. Now we can click done on this window. Now we want to go back to Google Sites and you need to just cancel out of this window and start again. So then once you've cancelled, go back to custom domains, start setup, and then paste in your domain again. So I'm just going to copy it from Namecheap here. Once you've got your domain pasted in for the second time, it will give you a blue tick, won't give you an error message, and then you can click next. And now we can simply connect it. So first, what we need to do is go ahead and enter in a CNAME record and the value needs to be this and the destination needs to be this, right? So we'll go to Namecheap, we'll go back to the DNS settings. Here we can add a new record. And again, remember we're adding this time a CNAME record. For the host, I think it said www, but I will just go and double check. Yes, yeah, so host www. And then for the destination, you wanna copy this here, including the period at the end. So copy that, then paste that in target, click the save changes button, and that should then add that record. Once you've got that record edit, you want to go and click done. So then going to connect your domain and that's it. Just be patient. It will take up to 48 hours for the connection to be 100%. But if you follow this video step by step, then it will work. That's how you do it. I hope that helps you out.